All right, so welcome to the Kavango and its new electronic system. This is the original panel that we are replacing. This is a, a fully integrated system, uh, but it's now 10 years old. It's no longer supported and it also doesn't support lithium, which is uh, a big requirement for, for us. The panel just briefly is separated into 220 and 12 volts We've got uh, an inverter, a uh, sockets via mains input. You've got input coming in on the top, which is connected on the outside of the caravan. And there's a, a panel with a display with your switches for the various 12 volt circuits and a switch for the charger and the mains. So this panel has been removed and in its place, uh, I've uh, manufactured or assembled a, a new panel and into this bin, which is one of the storage bins, we're going to be installing all the Victron charging equipment. Uh, and it's gonna mount onto this brace. This brace is what attaches the fiberglass body to the uh, galvanized chassis of the Kavango. I needed to re-spray, clean off all the rust on this brace. It, it, was, it had seen better days. And what we'll do is we're going to bolt down onto that brace uh, a support bracket that will just pop on there and then there'll be a Victron panel that will come against that and that will be just bolted down. And I'll also use these bolts to provide the earth uh, earthing onto the chassis. So that'll be inside this bin here with the battery and then the new panel will be in this space here. And uh, once I get the wheel back on, well, I first obviously have to just attach the bolts with the nuts through on these holes, then I can put the wheel back on and we can continue. So the wheel's back on, nicely torqued down and the bracket is back inside the bin with the earthing wires connected to the bolts. So now we can start loading in the rest of the equipment and progress to the next step. Okay, the inverter is installed. It's on the aluminium panel that separates the front and the rear bin in the Kavanga. And uh, I just put some bracing behind on the opposite side of the panel, some aluminium strips. The cabling is coming through from the output and this will come through onto the panel and that's the remote switch. And then the input from the battery will come in on the other side. Right, so now the Victron power panel is installed and it's connected up to the inverter. It's bolted down to the brace at the bottom and it's just now waiting for its battery and for the panel that's going to come in here. The power panel is installed. It's connected up to external power at the moment, but I haven't switched it on yet. The warning light just tells you that you've got external power connected. On the inside, we've got the lithium battery and we've got the Victron panel all connected up. We've got the inverter connected up and all the connections onto the back of the 12 volt panel. And we've got the 220 volts also plugged in, feeding the fridge, the charger, the plugs and the geezer. So let's have a look. Let's first switch on all the circuits. And once we switch on the master, this is the 12 volt master. There we go. Getting a reading on the Victron battery monitor. And we should be able to get lights. Fridge, 
geezer, the pump, the inverter, and the sockets. There we go. We've got everything plugged in and working except the AC charger. That's because I need to turn this on. should now have that fire up there we go so overall all's done it's worked out really well just need to screw this in these are still loose and just secure it on the battery and we'll be done